Hi everyone, I'm Lynn from Cavi Central Guinea Pig Rescue and we have got a gorgeous piggy called Maxi who has, he's an older boy and he has a issue with impaction which is um, something that crops up every now and then. He's down here, come and take a look. We're going to sort it out. Well, we're just going to clear out his ears for him and we're going to bath him and then we'll treat him with a mite treatment. But this is the big bit which is causing him it's a it's a regular bit of an issue for him and uh, we need to clean all this up for you hey so when we're dealing with impaction it's basically poo that sits here compacted in the anal cavity or we call it the perineal sac some people if you go into google it's referred to as the anal sac um, it is not the anus which is where the little poop parcels come from but in this instance it gets trapped in here and compacted if they're having lots of soft food lots of soft lettuces and things like that it can become the cause of the issue so I'm just going to take that out first and then we're going to give him a little bath with some tissues there that we can put that onto because when it's like this and it's wet it tells me he's got enough moisture in his diet and he's hydrated but as we pull that back, you'll see it starts to be separated from the perineal sac. And very, very stinky business. This little white bit here is part of the lining that gets created when um, this mess is on the inside, but you'll often find there's a bit of a, a lining to it. We're just going to check that it all came away just doing it this way so we get that but I'm just making sure that this lining see there it is there we just want to make sure that comes completely away and we can just edge that out it's very messy business all of that and then he's ready for his bath I know little guy just checking everything is clear and clean there Oop. watching out for my gloves Maxi knows I'm right just clearing right down there now his little boy bit here as well this has got smegma wrapped around it which we're just going to remove and again the same way we can just wipe that off it can get like a bit of a casing around his boy bits we'll just take that off and then into the bath maxi i know you're feeling a lot better all right let's do that let's get you into you're not even seeing that into the bath and we're just going to use Maliseb to do that and we're doing this all over you know <laughs> it's like what's happening it's okay Maxie it's all right it's okay it's all right This is going to have him feeling a whole lot better. <laughs> it's okay, sweetie. It's all right. It's like, I don't want to be having a bath. <laughs> You're going to feel so much better, little fella. Just head to foot. Now with Malaseb baths, a lot of people do this and they don't, well they, they try and then rinse the product off, but really all that should be done is literally that product rinse through and left on the coat as is. I just want to make sure down around this tummy area, we give him a good little bath down there. You can see he's losing a little bit of fur. 
and get some mite treatment on that will help you little fella Let's have a look at these ears. I'm sure my hands have dried off. We need some more earbud cleaners. Does it look cute in there? It's very forlorn. <laughs> when you're I've got a minute. We're just filming, Suzanne. Yeah. Yeah. We'd like some advice. Yeah, okay. Beautiful. That's okay, thanking you. I know, we'll just get these ears cleaned out, hey? Then you'll be able to hear better as well. There we go. Well, hold on. Hmm. Hold on, little guy. It's trying to get me off him. <laughs> you can see this is what's coming off the edge of the, the ear, which is fungal in, in nature. But um, if you're concentrating on just the eardrum, you also need to concentrate up here in the third areas of the ears to make sure they're fully, fully cleaned off. I know, we'll get it off, hold on. All right, it's all good. Older piggies can be really prone to impaction and Maxi is one of those. They often say that desex boys don't tend to get it as much, which honestly I've never seen a desex boy come in with impaction. So I think that is probably right, but there's also never been a study done on that because not that many boys relative to others get desexed. So but it stands to reason that, that that's you know something that can can occur. There we go. Let's get all that off there, hey? Yeah, there we go. All right. One ear. Let's get this other one. I'm turning around here, Maxie. It's got quite a bit down in there. No, oh, no, hold on. Put these in for a minute. Yeah, he's really got a full ear on this side. You can see how much is built up in there. Mm. Yeah, maxi. And that's then gonna go all over. Yeah, that's a really sore little. Yeah, little guy. I know. Yeah. There we go. I was just thinking with him getting older, just bring him up a bit more regularly for a health check and we'll okay. take care of all this for him because he's he's got quite a bit of a build up there. Often when we see such a build up around the ears, it's also to do with the feet. So we're going to have a look at his feet in just a moment. He probably needs a, um, a nail clip. Yeah, but their little cl claws start to curl around. Mm. And it becomes an issue with grooming. So when they do bring their curly nails up here, instead of sort of grooming to help, they add more up here than than they they do with grooming. That's looking clean now, Maxie. Yeah. Good boy. Okay. Just take care of that room. Yeah. Here, little guy. 
lot. You've got such a lot there. Let's get that off. Yeah, so if we look at his little paws, you can see his age and how they're really claw-like, um, but very diff they're not in the normal paw shape, and that's his age mm. showing there. But it also means that when it comes to grooming, this tends to drag a lot up to his ear area. So um, we'll just give those little paws a bit of attention as well. Have you feeling a bit better? Yeah. There's quite a bit going on there. If we look down around his eyes, you can see this one's clear. If we come back to this one, <clears throat> you'll notice around the edge of the eye, the rim, can you see the crustiness? Yeah. In around there. Yeah, I wonder and what that's, that was. Yeah, I think it's more to do with his ability to groom mm -hmm. than anything. Mm -hmm. So, I know. We're just going to get this off, little guy, because that around your eye is not comfy. There, yeah, it's a bit better. And when you clean guinea pig, pig's eyes like that, you can literally go whoop, with the Q-tip across their eye. They'll close their eye, starting from here. If I go forward, see how he closes? Mm. So it's easy to go across and clean these areas without being any risk to yeah, the I'm eye area. About doing that. Yeah, a lot of people are, but it's good to do that because that build up in around his eye will annoy him and then he wants to bring his claws back up there again mm. but his claws have got they're all misshapen so it's like catch 22 mm. a bit of a problem when you've got an older piggy it's just a little bit of a tension that way so that's it maxi for you we'll do your nails in just a moment have a look down below you'll be looking a lot better now so yeah a lot cleaner that's all empty which is great and uh Hopefully that will settle down soon for him. So that's great. We'll keep track with him later. Thanks everyone. Bye for now.